Hi guys, this is my first colouring tutorial. I'm Sally Elias or Colouring Sal. Uh, you may know me from Instagram and uh, this is my first video. I'm very excited. Um, now I'm not very technically minded so you're going to have to excuse me if there's things wrong with this video. I'll get it right in the end. I'm going to start to do tutorials and um, and there we go. All right, so the first one that I've chosen to do is hair, of course. I love colouring hair. And this is my favourite, favourite, favourite hair colour to do. It's a beautiful purpley pink colour. And we're using Polychromous um, Faber-Castells. Um, and we're going to be using Red Violet medium flesh, light flesh and ivory. I usually always choose four colours for my hair colouring. Um, sometimes you'll see me use more but pretty much I stick to four colours, it just works for me. And the illustration that I'm going to be colouring is one from Mariola Budek um, because she has perfect hair illustrations um, that can really help you practice basically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just bear with me, I've got my dog on my lap as well. Uh, I'm going to just focus in a little bit. That is probably going to be good for you and me. We'll see how that one goes. All right. So... <laughs> See if I can do this with my dog on my lap as well. She's she's not happy without me being around, so she has to be with me all the time. All right, here we go. I think this will work. Okay, so firstly, with the colours, I go from dark to light. So that's the first thing I do, and I section it off. And you can see this is... Um, in grayscale, excuse me, and I always print her grey version. She has a grey version and a black version of her illustrations. And I find the black versions are too dark. You really have to go quite dark with your pencils. So I so this is the grey version of it, the one that we're going to be using today. And you'll see that my printer, you'll probably be able to see that it has lines all through it. Um, once you've coloured it, you, you don't see any of those lines. Um, so that's also there. Now I use, some people ask what, what type of paper I use. I use copy paper um, because it's really, really cheap and I can print however many copies I want. So... Um, this works as well on any type of paper, obviously. Um, whatever you, you're used to is what you should use. So what we're going to do firstly is just, we're just going to pick a section and I'm just going to show you how I go about it, my process, I suppose. Um, so firstly, we'll, we'll pick this section here. You can see there's highlights through here where it's whiter and what we're wanting to do is with the red violet your darkest color is actually go over the gray scale okay so it's a medium pressure I'm just going to map out the section firstly okay that's the area that I'm going to be doing first And I'm just doing little flicks, medium pressure, a little bit lighter towards the middle. Yep, and just a little bit medium towards the middle. And just little, little tiny flicks. Of your darkest color whatever color you choose it's just this one is just beautiful this color all right and that's the 
top. And we're gonna flick up. Medium pressure. Now we're going to go in with medium flesh and it's going to go actually over the red, um, uh, yeah, red violet. Okay, so we're going to go over and extend it a little bit. Again, just those little flicks. Up and down. Going to keep the highlight areas fairly free, which is sort of in here, but I want that extended down so the colour can be extended down a little bit. All right, flick up. And we're going to have to work out something else, Alabella, because I tell you, my back is killing me holding you as well. She's blind. She's 14 now. She's my baby. She's my little Shih Tzu. But having her in my lap and doing this at the same time, it's not working. <laughs> but I'll see if I can get through at least this video and then we'll come up with some other arrangement. Uh, okay, so we've got the, the base now. Now we're, we're wanting to work on the highlights. So I've got light flesh and I don't want to go over any areas except for the highlight areas. So as you can see, I don't flick here. Just a fairly light pressure first off. And down into this area just in the highlights and we're going to finish that off with the ivory in the highlights and you can see my technique is I don't have one <laughs> so um, if you're after someone that has fantastic techniques, there's a lot, lot of them on YouTube that are fantastic. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I just have found what works for me. That's all. Um, so if you, you find that my technique, you go, oh God, she's dreadful. Hopefully you might get some color combinations out of my videos. Um, Anyway, it's all about having fun. I don't think there's any right or wrong with colouring. It's what makes you happy and what works for you. And this works for me. So now that we've done the whole round, what I'm going to do is go back over. And with the red violet, we're going to go a little bit of a firmer pressure this time. Now, because I'm using very thin copy paper, sorry, I thought my husband was calling me then, um, because I'm using very thin copy paper, you'll find that I'm not going as hard in the precious stakes as I would say on proper paper because the tooth of the paper will become saturated really quick with thinner paper and that just it, it warps it warps the paper it saturates the paper where you can't put any more color down um, it does all sorts of nasties so although I say hard pressure it really depends what hard or medium or soft pressure. It really depends on the paper. Um, 
but just trying to make sure that I don't oversaturate the, the, the paper. All right, so it's coming together now in a nice pinky way, which is what it's supposed to do. All right, and we're going to do the highlights again. And see with the highlights, I don't flick. I can't be bothered with that. When it comes to the highlights, I just want to highlight the area just lightly and then move on. All right. This is going to be a short video, guys, only because... My back is killing me. Those who know me know I've got an extremely bad back. And holding my dog in my lap is not going to work for these videos. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that section. So you would then go and do each, what I would do is each section individually. What I'm going to do is show you what I've just showed you on a larger area. Okay, so I'm going to do a section that's bigger. And so let's choose this one, this section here. That, I hope I've got it in focus for you guys. Yeah, okay. And again, I'm just going to map out the area with my darkest pencil. Oh, boo-boo. I'm so used to rotating my, my paper. And I'm trying not to do that because it'll make you guys dizzy. I'm sorry if I'm sniffing, I'm just getting over a cold. Alright, so that's my map for this section. Sweetheart, can you just go and sit there on, on the bed for a second? We'll just see if she can settle down there because I can't hold her anymore. My back is absolutely killing me. Alright, okay, so this... Yeah, I know, you're with mummy though, so it's okay. All right, let's get serious. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover this grey scale with the red violet, which is just a gorgeous colour. Gee, I love my prisoner colours, but polychromous has stunning colors and I just got um, well I'm waiting on the neo colors so we'll see how those go and the whole bones I got those a while ago um, and there are some beautiful colors in them but I keep coming back to Prismacolors, which is my first love. And my Polys are the second, my second love. Actually, I should say third love. I've got my dog. <laughs> She's the love of my life. Aren't you, Ella Bella? And then comes my Prismacolors, then comes my Polychromis, then comes my husband, <laughs> and he knows that. So that's all right. All right, in those, sorry, just rattling on. I went 
quite light through this section, at light, as in light pencil pressure. And now we're going to go in over that red violet because this, this is the first time that we're we're going over. So I'm going over pretty much the whole area with the medium flesh. A little bit more pressure on the ends, less through here, less through the middle section. So fairly light pressure through here. And then on the ends, I'm putting a little bit more pressure on the pencil and using that flicking motion. I know I can I can see that you're right there, my darling. Alright, I've made a little bit of a boo-boo down here. I don't want to I make lots of boo-boos. I am self-taught. I'm sure that there are lots of things I do wrong. But I have fun and that's the whole point of doing what we're doing. Whether you draw, you paint, you colour, you sculpt, whatever it is that floats your boat, you've got to enjoy it. All right, so I'm quite happy with the coverage there of the base colours, I would call them. I'm going to go back over them again. <laughs> this is where my technique really falls down, I suppose you could say. But I'm just going to do, again, the highlights. I want less of a highlight there. Real quick one there. The major ones in here. Okay, I want this area lighter. Maybe that area, maybe there. And this whole area, because this is on top of that. This is going to be quite dark through here. So it's about lightness and dark and your light source all right and then i'm going to go in this is the major highlight here i'm going to take that all the way down this one here it's really just the Three that I want highlighted there. Okay, so that's the first going over. And you can see that it's quite a muddy colour. And that's why you need to go back over. Well, you go back over it. And I suppose that's the reason people go uh, light to dark instead of doing it the way that I do it. Um, but I've tried it and it I don't know what it is, whether it's the paper I use. It just does not work for me going light to dark. So I'm going to stick to the way that I do it, which is dark to light, dark to light, dark to light. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, I have fun. Right, so a little bit more pressure now because we're wanting that colour to really pop. It is a colour that really pops off the page. That's why it works in so many situations. It's great for mermaids. It's a beautiful colour for mermaids if you're colouring mermaids. Hi baby. 
I had light wherever you are. Mommy is right here. Since she went blind last year, all she wants to do is just be near me, like pretty much on top of me. Um, her seeing eye person, I'll just put a, sorry, I'll just put a little hand on her so that she knows I'm here. She can hear me. Alright, just settle down, sweetheart. Just let me finish this for the people. Alright, so harder pressure just to ease. And we're getting there. Medium flesh. And this is when it really starts to take shape. That red, the red violet and the medium flesh, they just merge together to make this sensational colour. It's just stunning. I love it. I use it all the time. I think I've said that hundreds of times already. Hey, the beauty of this. You guys, you can always turn down the sound. You don't have to listen to me go on and on. All right, what I'm going to do here, that's too much of the highlights. I'm going to go back in with more of the medium flesh. And this is really just now to how you like it. What, you know, what you think looks good. And I'm going to go a little bit more in here. I promise next video I won't have Ella with me because that's obviously not going to work. Daddy's just going to have to look after her. Alright. Okay, one more go. <laughs> I just want to take some of the muddiness out. The paper's holding up okay. See all these little mistakes I'm making here? It doesn't matter. Just make it your own. It's whatever you're happy with. Look, there's... I have learned through my mistakes. So many make it into the bin, and that's okay. And there's, come here, sweetheart. And there are things that I've posted that I've been not so happy with on Instagram. Uh, and then there's others that I've been really proud of. So it swings and roundabouts. All right, I think that's, I'm happy with that. All right, I'm happy with that for the moment. All right, I'm just going to, let's, can we do that? Yes, we can. All right, I just want to show you look, a comparison. You see they're quite different, even though that they are the same colour. You'll see with this one, it's darker. So I've used more of the red violet in this. With this, I've used more of the medium flesh. So even if we look at, if we go down here, we can sort of see how dark that is compared to this. I've used more highlights. So that's why this colour is so fantastic. You can make it your own, even though it's the same four pencils. So I think I'm going to leave the video... At that um, there will be <laughs> thanks Ella Ella's saying goodbye um, and hopefully that showed you a little bit of something I'm going to be posting a lot more videos um, and we'll, we'll 
do some full pages in the future but that's just giving you a little bit of an insight into me and how I colour I suppose and next time we won't have Miss Barky Pants with us um, so thank you everyone and um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of colouring that we, we did and just getting to know me a little bit and there'll be more videos to come thank you bye <coughs>